Welcome back to this new Pizza Array tutorial. Today we want to create another foggy scene with a tree. We will create some walls, a ceiling, some lights and fog. And finally we will add some fireflies with geometry nodes. So let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene and let's go ahead and bring in here our asset, which will be the tree. Let's go to import FBX and import now this uh, thing. I used here the uh, a version EU05A. That looks good. Maybe let's go here into the material preview and let's have a look. Is that everything is set up correctly? Yes, we are having here some leaves on it and some textures for the bark and stuff like that. Now let's select this one here and press S for the scale. And I want to scale this up into the Z value of 10, maybe something like 10. Uh, that is okay. Now let's change here the rotation to minus 46.2. That is looking good. We want to use here this cube today, but first let's bring in here a plane, uh, which is mostly our floor. So let's change this here to floor. And I want to change the X and Y dimensions to 50. Now we want to change here our cube to 50 by 50 again and one in the Z value. And I want to change here and now this one in the Z value to 11.5 because this one is our ceiling here today. And I want to have a little hole here inside of this one. And to do this, we want to boot this. So let's go ahead and bring in here a new cube. And this cube should be five by five by five. So let's change this one again and bring this up to 12 in the Z so that this uh, cube here will intersect our ceiling. Maybe let's rename this one to ceiling and um, yeah. this one is the hole. <laughs> and to uh, make this happen, we have to select our ceiling, go to the modifier tab and add a Boolean. And now we can um, choose here our hole. And keep in mind that you have to hide the whole cube. So for the viewport and for the rendering as well. Now let's uh, duplicate this one here now because we need some walls. So let's do this and maybe let's rename this to wall left. And we don't need a Boolean. And I want to change uh, this one here in the Y to 90. And now we can go ahead and change the X value to minus 5.8. That is our left wall here now. Let's press Shift D and make this to 5.8. That is our wall right here. Okay, that is our scene setup for today. Maybe let's change here the camera so we can see what is going on. Let's hit here into the view of the camera, change this to zero by minus 19 by 1.1. And I want to change the rotation to 102 by zero by zero. And let's go here into the camera settings and change the perspective to 25. Let's uh, go ahead here and bring this one here in so we can see uh, what is going on in the rendering. Today we want to use again cycles. I want to use GPU compute. And when we're going to render, <laughs> this is looking cool, but not what we want today. So let's start here with uh, some materials. I want to make here a new material for the floor, a new material, material uh, floor. I want to change this to black. And we need a Musgrave texture and let's put this one here into a ramp and this one into a roughness. I want to turn the specular a little bit down so it's a little bit darker. Now we want to change the scale to 15, uh, detail to 5.10 and 2. That's looking good. And if you want to, you can play here with the sliders. Uh, to make this a little bit more or a little bit less. So that's up to you. I like to have this. I think that's it here for the floor right now. Let's go to the walls. And for this one, well, I used here some textures from textures.com. 
Okay, let's select the principal BSDF and press Control, Shift and T to open a new uh, window where you can select the textures if you have enabled the Node Wrangler plugin. If you don't have the Node Wrangler plugin, you can go to Preferences, search for Wrangler and select this one. Or you can select here the at principal setup. Now we want to go to our folder where we downloaded the Bunker 3 textures. Select all of them. And now we want to bring this one in here. What I like to do is I don't want to use here the ambient occlusion. If you want to, you can do this. But first, let's change here the texture coordinates. Let's change this one from UV to object. Okay, that's looking better. Now, when we are going here into the scale, let's change this here to 2 as well. And I want to change here the rotation and the Z value to 90. And I want to bring down here a little bit uh, the base color. So to do this, I used here a RGB curve and toned this a little bit down here. So it will be a little bit darker, it's not so bright. That's looking good. And I want to change here the normal map to five. And as you can see, this one here, the whole looks not really cool. And to change this, maybe let's rename our material here, material or walls. When we are selecting here our um, ceiling, we have here this wall um, material on it. Okay, and to change uh, this ugly stuff here, we can duplicate here our material and change this here to ceiling. And now we want to go here into the mapping and change this here to UV back. And now we can see that the scale is a little bit high. So let's change here the rotation to zero and make the scale 10 by 10. And that is looking better here now. That's here and now the scene set up with the textures. And now let's go ahead and bring in here some lights and some fog. Okay, let's uh, bring in here a new cube, which is our fog. Let's change these ones to 50 by 50 in the XYZ and um, and 11, 11.5 in the Z. Let's change the Z value to 5.5. Okay, now we go back into the shading, add a new material, which is fog. Okay, maybe let's go to rendering so we can see what is going on. And we don't need a principal BSDF. Let's delete this by pressing X. Let's search for a volume scatter, pipe this one into the volume. And I want to bring down the color a little bit to a grayish. So now we can see that our light is uh, quite visible here. And let's change the density to 0.1. And that is looking better here right now. Now we can go ahead and change uh, the lights to the right position, but first I want to change here the environment color to black. And now let's select our light here and I want to change the color to something light bluish here. And we want to increase the power to 15,000. And let's change here now, maybe let's go back to the layout mode. And I want to change here the passport to or uh, make the Pespa 2 visible. Now let's select the light here again. And I want to bring this to 0 by 0 by 18. Now we are having this uh, cool spot here going down on our tree. Let's change here the radius to 10. So our light is a little bit softer here right now. And as you can see, we have here some cool um, details here on our tree, but I thought it would be cooler when we're having more light here on these leaves and stuff like that. So let's duplicate this one. Maybe let's go into toggle mode so we can see a little bit more. And now I want to change this point light to a spotlight and I want to turn this down. So let's bring this to zero and change the Z value to 10. So it's right here on top of our tree. If you're pressing control B, you can draw a specific frame 
um, on your rendering. So everything in this frame will now only be rendered here. And so we can see a little bit more what is going on. Let's change here the power uh, to 10, down a little bit to 10,000. But I want to change um, the radius here right now to 4.4, a little bit down. And I want to change the spot size to 80 and the blend to 1. But it's a little bit too hazy and I want only to uh, light up here the tree. So what we can do now is go into the light settings and change uh, the ray visibility uh, from volume scatter on to off. And now we are having only the light affecting here on our tree. Okay, that is uh, cool for the lights now. And to bring in some details, um, I <laughs> like to add here some kind of fireflies. So uh, let's do this here really quick by adding a new uh, cube, which will be GN fireflies. Let's hit here into the geometry notes. Let's do this really quick. Okay, let's uh, cut here the line. We need a cube. And we need a instance on points. And I like to use here an icosphere. So let's pipe the stuff together. So I want to change here uh, the cube to 3 by 4.6 by 3.6 and the vertices by 8 by 8 by 6. Let's bring this here into the points and the iconosphere into the instance and let's change here now the radius to 0.01 and bring this here into the geometry. Now you can see we are having here some little dots going on but we need more variation and to do this we need a set position node and for some randomness a random value and let's change this one here to a vector node and pipe this one maybe let's put this one here up and pipe this one here into the offset and i only want to change uh, the min value here to two and the max value to minus two. Now we can see that we are having these uh, things scattering a little bit random around here of our tree, but now we have to bring this a little bit up. To do this, let's add here a transform node and put this in the Z value to five up here. So that's more here on the, <laughs> on the upper side of the tree. And to have a little bit more randomness here in the scale of our kind of fireflies stuff, we need another uh, random node. Random value. And let's leave that on float and we have to put this into the scale. And yeah, we have uh, the values between zero and one. You can change these if you like, but I want to leave this on min and max min on zero and max to one. You can change or play here with uh, the seat if you want to. And that is our fireflies here. And the last thing is we need a material. So let's set material and yeah, we need a material. So let's create a new one. This is uh, fireflies. And this one should be the base color black. And I want to go to the emission and change the hex and to see what we're doing, let's uh, go to the rendering here now. The material is already on it, but to make this right, uh, you have to, or you can put this here into the uh, set material. And you can see we are having here some orangey stuff going on, but to make this a little um, more glowy, we have to increase the emission right up to 500. Now you can see that the fireflies are affecting a little bit more here, the trees and the walls so let's go back into the layout mode and now we can see that we are having here some stuff going on yeah to render this one out i want to change here this one in the performance down the tile size to maybe something 256 and the rendering i don't want to denoise 
I want to have a maximum sample of 10, 24. So let's render this out here now. Okay, now our rendering is done. And now let's go into the compositing and we can add here some glow now. So let's first, let's add here a viewer. Now uh, let's make here a cut and let's uh, pipe this one in here. Yeah, and to make this uh, stuff here glow, we can easily add here a glare node. So let's pipe this one here in between. We don't want to use here the streaks. We just want to use a fog glow. And as you can see, it's already starting and then you can play here with this settings. Uh, I like to turn this a little bit more down. And when you're zooming in here, uh, here in the zoom, you can see that that's a little bit blocky here. To change this, we can go here into the high and that is looking much more better. You can play here with the threshold if you want to. Um, but I like to use here only the one and you can play here with uh, the size of this one. If you turn this up, uh, the size of um, the glow will increase, but I like to leave this on the six. And yeah, that is it for uh, this tutorial here right now. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.